Hello and welcome to Act 5, Scene 1 of Othello. I'm giving a full reading and analysis of the play. My name is Cathy Williams de Vries and uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I have a, a graduate diploma of Arts in Shakespeare Studies so I thought I might impart some of my knowledge. Um, this is the scene where Iago gets Cassia, uh, gets um, Roderigo to kill Cassio but instead Roderigo um, is killed. Now, and Iago is two-faced as ever. He both incites the murder and uh, then stabs Roderigo to death, um, turning turning him back on himself. So Iago and Roderigo start the scene. Here, stand behind this bulk uh, shop store. Straight will he come. Wear thy good rapier bare and put it home. Uh, in other words, put the knife in, uh, put the dagger in um, Cassio, Cassio's heart. Quick, quick, fear nothing, I'll be at thy elbow. It, it makes us or it mars us. Think on that and fix most firm thy resolution. Roderigo says, be near at hand, I may miscarry in it. Here at thy hand, be bold and take thy stand. And then Roderigo aside says, I have no great devotion to the deed, but yet he hath given me satisfying reasons. Tis but a man gone. Forth, my sword, he dies. And Iago, in an aside, says, I have rubbed this young quat almost to the sense. And he grows angry. Now, whether he kill Cassio or Cassio him, or each do kill the other, every way makes my gain. Live, Roderigo. He calls me to a restitution large of golden jewels that I have bobbed from him, um, defrauded him of, as gifts to Desdemona. It must not be, if Cassio do remain, he hath a daily beauty in his life that makes me ugly, and besides, the moor may unfold me to him. There stand I in much peril, no, he must die, but so I hear him coming. So, um, Iago knows that Cassio can bust him. Roderigo says, uh, Cassio enters, and Roderigo says, I know his gate, is he, and attacks Cassio. Villain, thou diest. Cassio says, that thrust has been my enemy indeed, but that my coat is better than thou knowest, I will make proof of thine. And then he stabs Roderigo. Roderigo says, oh, I am slain. Then Iago wounds Cassio in the leg from behind, and exits. Cassio says, I maim forever, help ho, murder, murder. Then Othello comes in. The voice of Cassio, Iago, keeps his word. Roderigo says, O villain that I am, it is even so. O help, O light, a surgeon. And then Othello says, Tis he, O brave Iago, honest and just, that has such noble sense of thy friend's wrong. Thou teachest me, minion, your dear lies dead, and your unblessed fate highs. Strumpet, I come. Forth of my heart those charms thine eyes are blotted. Thy bed lust sane shall with lust's blood, blood be spotted. So, um, that's, that's an interesting couple of lines. Uh, that uh, this scene, um, Othello is proved beyond doubt that um, Desdemona is cheating on him with Cassio. Enter Lodovico and Graziano. What ho? And Cassio says, What ho? No watch, no passage. Murder, murder. Tis some mischance. The voice is very direful. O oh, help! Hark! O oh, wretched villain! Two or three groan. Tis heavy night. These, be, these may be counterfeits. Let's think it unsafe to come into the cry without more help. Nobody come? Then I shall bleed to death. Then Iago comes to the light. Hark! Here's one come in his shirt with light and weapons. Who's there? Whose noise is this that cries on murder? We do not know. Do you not hear a cry? Hear, hear, for heaven's sake, help me, says Cassio. What's the matter? This is Othello's ensign, as I take it. The same indeed, a very valiant fellow, Iago de Cassio, says, What are you here that cry so grievously? Iago, oh, I am spoiled and done by villains. Give me some help. O oh me, Lieutenant, what villains have done this? I think that one of them is hereabouts and cannot make a way. O oh, treacherous villains! To Lodovico and Graziano he says, Iago says, 
What are you there? Come in and give me some help. Oh, help me there, says Roderigo. That's one of them. Iago stabs Roderigo. Oh, murderous slave. Oh, villain. Roderigo finally found out, finds out that Iago is a double crosser. Oh, damned Iago. Oh, inhuman dog. Kill men in the dark. Where they be these bloody thieves? How silent is this town? Ho, oh, murder, murder. And to Lodovico and Graziona, what may you be? Are you of good or evil? As you shall prove us, praise us, Signor Lodovico. He, sir, I cry you mercy. Here's Cassio, hurt by villains. Cassio? How is brother? My leg is cut in two, says Cassio. Uh, Iago says, Marry, heaven forbid. Light, gentlemen, I bind it with my shirt. Then Bianca comes in. What is the matter, ho? Who is it that cried? And Iago says, Who is it that cried? Oh, my dear Cassio, my sweet Cassio, oh Cassio, Cassio. Iago says, Oh, notable strumpet, Cassio, may you suspect who they should be that have thus mangled you? No, I am sorry to find you thus, I have been to seek you. Lend me a garter, so, oh, for a chair to bear him easily hence. Bianca says, Alas, he faints, oh Cassio, Cassio, Cassio. Iago says, Gentlemen all, I do suspect this trash to be a party to this injury. Patience a while, good Cassio. Come, come, lend me a light. Then going to Roderigo, says, Know we this face or no? Alas, my friend and my dear countryman, Roderigo? No, yes, sure, oh heaven, Roderigo. What of Venice? Even he, sir, did you know him? Know him, I. Signor Graziano, I cry your gentle pardon. These bloody accidents must excuse my manners that so neglected you. Grazio, Graziano says, I am glad to see you. Iago says, How do you, Cassio? Oh, a chair, a chair. Roderigo, he, he, tis he. Then the attendants enter with a chair. Oh, that's well said, the chair. Some good man bear him carefully from hence. I'll fetch the general surgeon. Then to Bianca, for you, mistress, save you your labour. He that lies slain here, Cassio, was my dear friend. What malice was between you? None in the world, nor do I know the man. Iago says to Bianca, what look you pale? Oh, bear him out of the air. Stay, you good gentleman, he says to Lodovico and Graziano. Then to Bianca says, look you pale, mistress. To Lodovico and Graziano, do you perceive the ghastness or terror of her eye? To Bianca, nay, and you stare, we shall hear more anon. To Lodovico and Graziano, behold her well, I pray you look upon her. Do you see, gentlemen? Nay, guiltiness will speak, though tongues were out of use. That's interesting, guiltiness will speak, though tongues out of youth. So. Enter Amelia, alas, what is the matter? What is the matter, husband? Iago says, Cassio hath he been set on in the dark by Roderico and fellows that escaped. He's almost slain and Roderico dead. Alas, good gentleman. Alas, good Cassio. Iago said, this is the fruits of whoring. Prithee, Amelia. Go know of Cassio where he supped tonight. To Bianca, what? Do you start at that? Bianca said, he supped at my house, therefore I shake not. Oh, did he so? I charge you go with me. Oh, fire upon thee, strumpet, Amelia says to Bianca. Bianca says, I am no strumpet, but of life as honest as you that does abu that you that thus abuse me. As I, foul, fire upon thee. Bianca says, kind gentleman, let's go see poor Cassio dressed. To Bianca says, come mistress, you must tell us another tale. Amelia, run you to the citadel and tell my lord and lady what hath happened. Will you go on a fall? This is the night. And then, as an aside, said, This is the night that either makes me or fordoes me quiet. And it's interesting that he ends with a rhyme. So, this is a night that could either make him or break him. Um, and that's uh, Act 5, Scene 2.